Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Grab these other books here real quick. There is somebody that's been uh, again harassing me through the internet through their their um, YouTube channel and their Twitter account following me on social media following uh, another another uh, pastor from Tennessee on social media and calling both of us bigots well the definition of bigot if you can see in this dictionary is basically being intolerant sticking to an opinion belief party etc basically it uh, also says so, uh, um, added, uh, is, you know, an, it's an attitude of basically being intolerant intolerant towards what what society dictates that uh, preachers should preach today that we should be accepting the sins of society because some judge says so no 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 and I'm pounding on the pulpit is what I'm doing when I'm doing this no so that's a problem you need preachers to pound the truth in you but since you don't want the truth you want to listen to other preachers lies there is another gospel being preached by lying preachers called dispensationalism there's pre mid and post dispensationalism Jesus said at the end of the tribulation of those days he will return in the clouds and send out his angels to gather the elect not before anything happens if you want to believe this other gospel that's been preached for over a hundred years now and it's going like wildfire with a lot of other preachers because that's what they've been taught in Bible college somewhere uh, we're going to be out here before anything happens we're going to be out here be where where does it say that just because it's in the Bible in one place that we're not appointed to wrath but in the in it a chapter before that it says we are appointed to tribulation I don't understand how they can miss that it's like they just cut it out or ripped the page up you know let's not even bother preaching the truth anymore that is what is happening today let's just preach love peace joy long suffering because those are the characteristics of Jesus Christ and that's what we should have it's called walking in the spirit as in Galatians 5 Galatians 5 Galatians 5 I say then walk in the spirit and you shall be filled um, and excuse me and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh is lust against the spirit and the spirit 
against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So you, so that you do not do the things that you wish, but you are led by the Spirit. You are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hearted, countenance, jealousness, and goes up here. Outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions. There's a lot of people on the internet that have selfish ambitions. This sensations hairs envy murders drunkenness revelers and the like of which I tell you before just as I also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Now, a lot, of, a lot of Baptists, a lot of churches today, that's all they want to focus on right there. Let's not focus on being in the Spirit. Like in 1 Corinthians. Here, um, as soon as I get to it now, I got to get here. To, in 1 Corinthians... It talks about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are as important as the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because you cannot bear fruit without the gifts. It's like, for instance, a seed being planted. It has to grow first before it can bear fruit. You just don't get the fruit right off the bat. You have to receive the gifts and then cultivate it and then bear the fruit. That's why 1 Corinthians is before Galatians. 1 Corinthians 12 There are diverse of gifts but the same spirit there are differences in of ministries but the same Lord and there are di Disciples of activities. But it is the same God who works in all. But he, excuse me, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. 
For one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another word of knowledge through the same Spirit, and another faith by the same Spirit, and another gift of healing by the same Spirit, another working of miracles and of prophecy, and another discerning of spirits to another different kinds of different kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but one of the same spirit works in all things distribute distributing to each one individually as he wills. Now, there's somebody that's been, again, making some videos and harassing me on the internet. And he said in his recent video about me that, well, he has a pre him and his mother has a preacher friend, and their, their preacher friend, well, you know, does things different than I do, basically, acts differently than I do. He's not a bigot, but I'm a bigot. All because I stand on the Word of God, the whole Word of God, cover to cover, that says that homosexuality is an abomination. Period. No woman, no man should be sleeping with the same sex. Period. Now some people also want to say, well, you know, if you're divorced, then, you know, you should not remarry. Jesus never said that. Jesus, all he said was, one man, one woman. He never said, oh, by the way, if you are divorced, you just got to wait until your spouse dies before you can remarry again. No. Neither did Paul. Paul, he preached on it as well. And he said, It's better for you to depart than to fight. But see, you just can't get it. You all want to read something and, and take it totally out of context of what it really truly means and you want to run with it like like stupid people that like you are it's like the book this book that I wrote a while back there's been some people that want that took this cover and then renamed it to what they wanted to say and I wrote it because I want people to understand, yes, I suffered with, you know, sexual lust when I was growing up, you know, what, oh, what boy doesn't, what young boy doesn't, you know, want to have a girl in their life to get married and have children. What boy doesn't experiment sometime in their life? Or girl. It's just the fact that it is if you if you do something against what someone else believes 
then that becomes you know, like a crime to them. Oh, it's a crime. You should be in jail. You should. That's a problem. Everybody thinks always something. But, you know, when it comes right down to it, they don't care if the person asks for forgiveness, they don't care if the person is saved. They're always constantly want to bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, and bring up, and bring up, and bring up the person's past sins like it's their right to do that. No, it's not your right to do that. I wrote my book so I can tell people, here is what it came from. I went through all these different fires in my life. And through the Holy Spirit, He has brought me out of those fires. Because of Jesus' Spirit, He brought me out of those fires. But you don't care. All you want to do is just take my book and take it totally out of context again, just like you do with God's Word. Take it out of context. Because that's all you love to do. Because why? You are ministers of Satan the devil. You're doing his will. You're not doing God's will. You're doing his will. Satan's will. You know it deep down inside. You're doing it for him and him only. You can say, oh, I'm a good person. Really? If you're a good person, you'd apologize, you'd stop making these videos, and you'd stop harassing me. But no, you will not because you're not really a good person. So, you know, just keep on saying whatever you want to say. And, you, you know, you're lying on me about uh, my, my weight. You're saying that I'm fat. Does this look fat to you? Does this look fat to you? Huh? Does this look fat to you? Huh? Does my legs look uh, big and fat? Do I have a big belly hanging down here? Huh? Do my my are my legs way out here? Huh? No, they're not. And for a matter of fact, I have more shirts than just this one blue shirt. I also have another blue shirt that I wear as well. That says on it. Let me get my camera turned around here. Fear God. Actually, I have two of these shirts. Two of them. Two of them that I wear. My chair is not crusty. Thank you very much. So you just, you just are so full of yourself. You are self-centered, and you are doing the will of your father, the Satan, the devil. I stand for that cross behind me. I stand on the Word of God. And I also stand for what America is based on, and that's the freedom of religion and the free exercise thereof and the freedom of speech. And I will not shut up. I will not stop preaching the truth. And that's what you hate. You hate the truth. That's why you come after me and other preachers like me. You hate the truth. And that's why you call me a bigot. When in reality, you are the bigot. You are a hater of everything that is true. All you want to do is, like I said, listen to all the lies that come out of the other preacher's mouth. Have that preacher contact me, and I will tell them 
that they are a liar. And they do not believe that Jesus is coming after the tribulation. And they do not believe that we will go through tribulation. Then they're preaching a false gospel. Wake up and fly right before it's too late. And become saved and born again. And then you will know the truth because the truth will set you free from all the lies that you've been taught for so many years. God bless you and have a blessed day.